Hello everyone, this is Tawana again, and this time I'm going to be talking about the new evaluation metrics and evaluation pipelines that came with Haystack 2.1 that we released just this week. So this is one of the new tutorials we have. It's available on the Haystack website, and I'll link it down in the description. And as well as Haystack's own evaluators, which are both model-based and statistical evaluators, we have integrations with evaluation frameworks as well. So if you like, you can take a look at the cookbooks that we have with DeepEval, Ragas, and Uptrain2, which are linked from the tutorial that we're going to be going through here as well. So evaluating RAG pipelines mainly consists of evaluating two steps, both retrieval and generation. So we're going to take a look at how we do that. But for that, first, we need to build a RAG pipeline to begin with. So for this tutorial, we've decided to do a PubMed QA RAG pipeline example. We have a publicly available data set that includes both context and answers and um, ground truth resp responses as well, which is quite handy. It's quite a large data set. You can access it on Hugging Face. Instructions are basically questions, context is going to be our ground truth documents, and responses are going to be our ground truth answers. As you can see, there are many, many rows, so we've decided to use just the first 1,000. I've already got them here, and then the next thing we start to do is build our RAG pipeline. In this example, we're going to be building a very simple RAG pipeline that's indexing these documents into an in-memory document store. And we're going to be creating embeddings using a sentence transformers document embedder with this sentence transformers embedding model. We'll use the same model to embed the query when we have a RAG pipeline. And then we simply write our documents, which are, by the way, all clean and split up and chunked as well. So it's quite easy to start off with. And we're going to write them into our in-memory document store. I've already done that. And then the next thing we need is a RAG pipeline that actually interacts with our document store. For this use case, it's a very simple question answering RAG pipeline. Our prompt is basically saying you have to answer the following question based on the given context information only, and we are looping through the retrieved documents. We're embedding the query again with a sentence transformers text embedder with the same embedding model. We're doing embedding retrieval, so we're using the in-memory in embedding retriever, and we're using GPT-3 to produce the answer. I've already got this RAG pipeline up as well, and we can maybe test it with a query. So I run this query, and I get an answer. It's a pretty complicated question, so I'm not going to uh, say that. All right, so the next thing we want to do, now that we have a RAG pipeline, is actually evaluate the RAG pipeline. This comes in two steps. First, we will run the RAG pipeline and get the answers that were generated by our RAG pipeline alongside the questions that were, ans uh, that were asked. And then we get, we get to pick which kind of evaluation metrics we want to use. So for this example, we're going to be using document mean reciprocal rank, semantic answer similarity, and faithfulness. But you can head over to the Haystack documentation page and you'll see all of the different evaluation components we have alongside what kind of evaluation metric they are, whether they're statistical or model-based, as well as, which is going to be useful, for each evaluator, which acts as a pipeline component, you'll get to see what kind of inputs the evaluator expects. In the case of faithfulness, it's going to be questions, contexts, and predicted answers and what kind of outputs they're going to be producing. So for this use case, we've chosen these three um, evaluation metrics. And what we're going to do is we're going to select a random set of 25, you can up this number, uh, questions to evaluate our pipeline on. And we are also going to take note of what the ground truth answers and documents were for these questions. I've already run the RAG pipeline and I have taken note of what kind of answers were produced. So we can go straight down to building our evaluation pipeline. All evaluation metrics are essentially Haystack components, which can be added to a pipeline. If you don't know how to build Haystack pipelines, you can check, check out the previous video. I'll link that as well. And in this case, I'm going to be using three evaluators. So I'm simply adding these components to what I've called an eval pipeline. Again, 
it's very useful to check the docs to see what inputs an evaluator expects. So for example, we already had a look at faithfulness. It was expecting questions, contexts, and predicted answers, which we've taken note of just before when we ran the RAG pipeline. I've actually run this, pi this uh, uh, evaluation pipeline as well because we are going through 25 questions. This can take some time, especially if you want to up the number. Next, we want to actually see what the evaluation resulted in. So we're going to be creating an evaluation run result, basically a score report. I'm going to be giving it a name. I'm going to be providing what inputs were provided to the evaluator and the results of the evaluator. And let's run that and you'll see a report. Another thing you can do um, with these, this evaluation report is convert it to a pandas data frame. This is quite useful because it means that you can then filter out the evaluation results. For example, here, we're going to get the three best semantic answer similarity results and the three worst, and it maybe helps us evaluate what went wrong and in what cases it went wrong. And that is all. Actually, this was a funny example because semantic answer similarity. Okay, no, we do have some bad scores. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. And next time, I think what I will do is we have one evaluator called the LLM evaluator, which is actually a way that you can define your own evaluation. I'm going to give this example very quickly, but here we're going to be basically using a large language model to evaluate a pipeline based on what we are evaluating on, so we can make up an evaluation. So in this case, we're evaluating whether a pipeline response has been problematic for children, and we're also providing examples of problematic cases and non-problematic cases, and then we run this evaluator um, based on responses from our pipeline. All right, see you next time.